T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978. Welcome to another Chill Review. We're still using my ASMR voice right now because I have some type of, I don't know, whatever. I had post-nasal drip and now my voice sounds like this when I talk loud. So I can keep it down to a crawl like this. So here we go. Anyway, this is Bro Toys X BMS Berserker Beretta 112th scale, aka Final Fantasy VII Remake Barrett. Boy. Anyway, here's this. Here's that. Here's this. Here's that. <laughs> oh, boy. I hope I don't sound too crazy right now, but I know how, to me in my ears, I sound like freaking Kratos, but there's all this stuff and we're going to talk about it. Just realize for the people new to my channel, they don't know what the heck my voice sounds like. Okay, let's focus on his accessories. He comes with three fists with, or three hands that have the glove part on it, one open hand and one pointing. He has two regular fists two gripping regular hands and two open palm gesture hands with the peg in there because this arm does not have the wrist peg. He has his melee weapon right there, his angry face right here, though I'll show closer later, his gun arm with the sleeve right there or the half sleeve. He has his dog ticks that are optional and this head with the removable cigar and the sunglasses here's this face without the sunglasses or with them up and it looks really really good it looks super duper close to what he had in the game even as the earring in that one ear like you do in the 90s it had to be on the it had to be on the left side or else you were gay <laughs> Back in the day, the you see people don't care about that now. The people wear earrings in both ears and carry purses and sh and stuff. So there's that. The cigar comes out of the mouth very easy, but this is as close as you're gonna get to a neutral face without the cigar. So yeah, I guess you could say he's snarling or something. But the eyes look really good. They're really detailed. It's on like a Mezco level, and I like it. Let's look at this stuff up close as well. We got the fabric good jacket and the vest. Or he's not vest. He's wearing a vest and his T-shirt. We got all this right here. The boots. All these pouches are fabric goods with actual straps and whatnot all over the place highly highly detailed really cool there's nothing in those pouches i don't know if there's supposed to be something in in them in the game but they spared no expense putting details on and so you can see this they did put hair detail because he is he does have a hairy chest and I want to just show him with the glasses on without that cigar. In his hair, you can see that it's like brown, but not so realistic. Let's get to the other head. Here's his angry face right there. Same style haircut and detail, but not. Let's put the sunglasses on, which go on decently easy. Here's that. If you shine enough light, you'd be able to see his eyes through there. But I think he looks really, really good. Like spot on with, with the game. There you are. And let's get into the articulation before we start getting into the accessory exchange parade. But the head, let me just take the glasses off because they're, they're going to fall off as I'm grabbing the sides of the head. You can look up a lot. You can look down, side to side, 
rotating and all that. He has a ball at the base and a dumbbell at the top of the neck, just like everything is trying to do nowadays. You do have, I believe the arm is on, yeah, it's it's like a McFarlane type arm where it's a ball post so it can like rock up and back and forward, but just like McFarlane, it doesn't give you a lot. It's there, but it's, it fights you because you got that hard filler piece in there. But you get the bicep swivel, double jointed pinless elbows, and let's try to bend this as much as I can. So it's slightly more than 90. You get the universal wrist right here. You are hindered, of course, with this. Same deal over here. Let's see how much I can bend this. Yeah, it bends way more than 90 when you don't have this in the way. Let's see if I can push it forward. Yeah, I got it to bend more. You have a great, and you can see the muscle definition under there because this shirt is so tight. I had to take, the, I was making a fun of this picture of Steel, the comic book character Steel. His shirt was so tight, you can see his six pack. You can see that here. But he has an upper diaphragm. Let me just move everything at once. It's a ball at the bottom, ball at the top. I'm not sure if some of them are dumbbell, but let's just show you. You can bend back. You can bend forward a lot. Side to side, rotate at the top, rotate at the bottom. The legs kick out to the side a lot. Or a lot for something that's wearing clothes anyway. You can kick forward like completely unhindered you can kick back some there is some thigh rotation right there but i do not feel a thigh cut but it's there you get double jointed knees i can only imagine that they're penless but you got pants on so nothing to worry about there and the ankle i believe is on a dumbbell joint but you get a ton of ankle pivot look at that these boots bend and that is freaking magnificent and you can rotate like if they stay in the place that you leave it i have never like experienced i don't think i've really experienced anything on a figure this size like this mezco would have some type of cut right there and but this can bend underneath of the fabric. And that well, is not even fabric. It's a rubbery material. That is freaking awesome. That is my favorite feature that this thing has. And of course, like a ton of things are removable. We could take the vest off. We could take this off. The gun arm. Yeah, that, that's not supposed to happen. I don't believe. But you can rotate it. But the gun arm can come off. And this sleeve can come off. We can put this on like that. Let me make sure. I'm, I always forget which way this is actually supposed to go on. Wait, let me look at this. This is the bottom. So I want to line that up. So the big part is at the top. Like that. Now, this does not stay on. It's not pegged at all. There's no like grooves that it snaps into. So this will come off very easily. It's snugly on there, but it does come off easy. I'm, I'm not even gonna try to freaking lie to y'all. Pro tip, since he doesn't have the, the best butterfly joint and you see how big his arms are and whatnot, I like bend the arm this way over his chest or in front of the chest and then bring this hand up here, here to grab it. And of course you can position that I pull these legs up. Maybe it does have a thigh swivel because I got that into place and now I can, I can rock it, but you can get him into a pose like this where he's actually holding the gun but sticking it straight out in front of them and then trying to bring the arm in front, you're, you're not going to be able to do that. So you got a finagle 
and get him looking in a direction, but he can pretty much do anything you need him to do if you work with it. Like, it is great. He he is friggin' awesome. Without that gauntlet on or the arm guard, here's an example of his wrist articulation, which is great. Here he is without his vest, his arm guard, with his hand on, with with the cigar in this hand right there. So you have a lot of variety and a lot of options, to be honest. Here he is on a sample pose, standing up, like walking angrily towards somebody while holding that cigar. Unfortunately, though, and I should have probably mentioned this sooner, putting this peg in this arm socket, it is very hard to get it out. So keep some pliers or something handy. Why I'm bothering you about that? Because you cannot put these on and the actual weapons. The peg actually sticks through here and gets in the way. Now I'll say I have pliers handy, but you're gonna need a hair dryer. I could not get the, that peg out without warming it up. Before I forget, I wanted to definitely show off that it does have materia in these weapons right here. You got that one jewel right there, materia jewel. And this claw actually has three. And look at that gun metal and just the detail while we're up close on this. I don't think I showed that up close. When something says 1 12th scale, you never know what you're going to get. So I was worried that he was going to be short, but he is appropriate, appropriately tall. This Valiverse figure is like, I believe, taller than six and a half inches. It, it tends to be taller than any other like Marvel Legends or something that I put it next to you. But... I, you see how tall he is. And here I am with my selfie series face <laughs> on this body. These glasses are very much molded to the Barrett face. So the ears don't stay on as well as my Mezco blade head right here. Which coincidentally just fits perfectly. Once I line it up with the ears. So. There's that. Here he is next to my Thousand Toys Devil May Cry 5 Dante. Here are the first two Mezco I saw. Here's a G.I. Joe classified series figure. Like Hasbro's standard height, basically. But that, that's all I'm going to show you. It's about roughly seven inches tall. Anywho, it looks just like the game. He is stupid, crazy, poseable. Highly detailed. Like... These clothes do not really get in the way of anything that you would want to do. You can just get into whatever pose within reason with the things that I showed you are hindrances for him. But you saw how easy I did that. I been posing forever. So this stuff is second nature to me. Uh, there are certain go-to poses I go to. I pick, I should say. And yeah, I work with whatever weapon that they have. or and Then I try to accentuate on that and the abilities I have. Since he can like stretch his leg back like that, I can do this and have him look like he's just jumping out at you. But anyhow, I like it. I can suggest it. I got this from 5K Toys. Thanks to my friend, Matt Parts, former Matt McArdle. He has been feeding me all types of different products. And I have to keep telling him, hey, I'm broke. Stop. Stop sharing stuff with me. <laughs> Anywho, thank you all for watching this video. Thank you for sharing it. Thank you for watching it again. Until next time, T-Man978 out of here. All right, let's focus on his accessories. He comes with three pairs of... Oh, my God. <clears throat> Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You...